60 million years ago, this patch of the San Juan Basin southeast of Farmington was a tropical forest. Magnolias and fig trees covered the land. Ash spewing out of nearby volcanoes laid down a layer of slippery black clay. Erosion eventually washed away the layers of sand and sediment, creating distinctive, softly rounded gray formations. George O'Keefe called it the Black Place. O'Keefe was introduced to the dramatic landscape in the 1930s. It became the setting for dozens of drawings, pastels, and some of her most well-known paintings, including Black Place II. Today, the landscape that inspired O'Keefe is dramatically changed, and some say threatened. Companies have been drilling in the San Juan Basin at least since the 1950s, mostly for gas. But the main play is now for oil, and advances in drilling technology, including fracking, have the region preparing for a boom. Walter Nelson, a photographer, has been visiting these badlands for three decades. He recently published a book called The Black Place, Two Seasons. Some years ago, he went in search of the rock that O'Keefe is shown sitting on in a photograph in the early 1940s. Uh, this is the rock which I'm sitting on right now. Uh, the location of the Black Place is just west of Nagizi, New Mexico. Georgia worked from the camp in the area uh, several times. I think that she made about 20 trips here, and from this did hundreds and hundreds of drawings and did, oh, maybe 20 paintings. Uh, the painting which is in the book, which was recently produced uh, by the Museum of New Mexico Press, is Black Place Two, and this is what you're looking at right now. This area is a very special area. Uh, there's no other place like this. Uh, that's why she was drawn to it. Nelson calls it a sacred spiritual place that should be protected. But doing that could be difficult. Not many people could find the black place. There's no sign leading here. The area is a checkerboard of tribal lands, Navajo allotted leases, sections managed by the state land office, as well as BLM lands. And while environmental groups have raised concerns about the impact of fracking on other cultural landmarks, such as nearby Chaco Canyon, the black place isn't on their radar. Nelson is not hopeful. About five weeks ago, he started a painting he is calling the death of the black place. This area that Georgia painted in, it should be preserved. 